On screen is the login page for my Lacework demo tenant. I simply pop in my email and a login link is sent to my inbox. The link is received instantly and once clicked, I am now inside the demo tenant. Clicking on compliance and then cloud, you can see that I have no pre-configured cloud assessment running at present, hence we are doing this from scratch. This is further emphasized when I go into settings and cloud accounts, as I have none configured at present. To add a cloud instance, I click add new in the top right, and then I choose my cloud provider. For this demo, I will be using AWS. I choose cloud trail and configuration as I want the assessment to use its own stack for easier setup and a clean deletion later. I then hit next. I am already signed into AWS, so Lacework automatically populates my AWS instance with the required info. I'm going to add the word Lacework to my stack name just to make it easier for me to find later when I come to delete it. I can then just click through each of the pages The stack is now being created. I have shorted the sequence, but it took around two minutes to progress to completion. Returning to the Lacework tenant, I can now see two cloud accounts, configuration and cloud trail. The cloud trail one is showing as pending, so I give it a few minutes and this is now fully registered and shows success. I now give Lacework a little time to collate the AWS events and info. Now when I return to resources, cloud, AWS cloud trail, I can see that Lacework has begun bringing in the required data. It is here that Lacework can essentially be left alone now to fully analyze the AWS estate. It is recommended to be left for a week or two, after which some very detailed and rich reporting can be enacted to highlight compliance, configuration, and security issues with this AWS instance. I won't be leaving this running long enough to finalize any reports, so we'll now show how easy it is to remove the configuration once this is done. Returning to the demo tenant, I go into settings and cloud accounts, and I delete both of the cloud accounts that we created earlier. Now, in AWS, I delete the Lacework CloudFormation stack that was created during the automated process. This will get rid of everything that was created for the Lacework Cloud Security Assessment. However, I must manually empty the S3 bucket that Lacework created for the CloudTrail logs it collected, and then I can delete it. This is us now back to where we started at the beginning of this video. I hope this has shown just how easy it is to not only set up, but also remove the Lacework Cloud Security Assessment configuration once the assessment is complete. In all, for me, it took around 10 minutes total from end to end. Say five minutes to set up and five minutes to remove. So you too could have this assessment performed on your cloud instance for very little hands-on configuration work.